a lot of things that people say won't work, and we say, yes, they will. Just keep telling us they won't. We'll work even harder on it. This was our building up until October of last year. And then we added this 7,500 square feet expansion for our manufacturing of our equipment uh, and, and moved into it in October of, of this past year. We've got additional plans to expand another 5,000 square feet off the back of the building and 4,500 square feet of office and engineering space up in the front of the building. At the end of 2010, we were 34 people. Now we're 55 people. Those are all good jobs. Those are technicians, they're service technicians, they're engineers, mechanical, electrical software. Right now we're looking at hiring new people, so we're not done. The opportunity for OptiPro and for the optics manufacturers in the United States, it's military, it's medical, it's high precision. When it gets to that high precision, people want to buy from the United States. It doesn't have to go overseas. Our company is good proof of it. We started as a machine distributor, and from there, we grew the company into designing and building our own machines. In about 1990, we started working with Eastman Kodak, and that was really OptiPro's beginning into the precision optics world. These machines here are dedicated to the precision optics part of our company. A lot of the work that we're doing right now with the Navy and our small business innovative research work uh, with NASA he is now looking at not only do they want to have optics be spherical or even aspherical, which is more complex, now they want to make these optics fit in the wing of an airplane. They want them to be more aerodynamic, more stealth. There's a lot of high-end algorithms that are in this control to be able to accomplish that. It's very complex, and we have three software engineers working on writing the code and the mathematics that go into doing that. This is our manufacturing area. These are all being custom built for specific customers. In fact, everything on this side of the building is now sold. OptiPro was always the little guy. You know, we weren't taken serious. We have three German competitors, very good competitors. They've always been, always mentioned first. Well, that's changed. So we've got a lot of uh, customers throughout the United States. The bigger companies, the uh, Raytheons, the Lockheed Martins, the Boeings. So we're working with all the big primes and then a lot of the smaller companies too. We do co-ops with RIT. We do uh, research studies with the University of Rochester student. We've got a mechanical engineer that's doing his master's thesis at the Rochester Institute of Technology on a specific product and technology that we're going to be using in our ultraform finishing. Optics is a big opportunity. There's no, there's no question anyone that is looking at how things are going to work in the future. Cars with sensors all over them, roads with sensors on them, surveillance cameras, better imaging optics that are being made by these companies, better software. All those pieces are coming together. The exciting thing about it is that's all happening in Rochester.